and wait for these cars to pass while we get our light going. Okay, ready? Ready, yeah. All right. Hi guys, it's Rachel with Love Goodly, and I am here with Paige Padgett, the author of The Green, I love, I'm so nervous right now, The Green Beauty Rules. Yeah. Give me the full title, because I never like, it's like a long title. What to toss, what to, Oh, we busted her. <laughs> anyway, The Green Beauty Rules. Quite essential. Right, and the reason that Paige wrote this book is she basically brought green beauty to Hollywood. She's done so much work in terms of, um, you know, greening kits and influencing other makeup artists to green their kits and really introducing a lot of celebrities to green beauty and why that's important. Um, that's so, of course, we at Love Goodly are totally into all this and so I wanted to, you know, have a quick conversation with you about your new book and so how did it Thank all start? You. Give me the quick, give me the quick, you oh, know. Oh, okay. Like, well, it all started um, when I, I decided that I felt like there was a, a gap in um, beauty books and books about chemicals and makeup, uh -huh. and I really just wanted to bridge that gap. Yeah, yeah, so and it totally I does. To write a book. It's such you. a quick read, and it's such like it's a book that I feel like I'm gonna have on my shelf, you know, forever, and like pull it down and be like, oh, what about this, you know, and checking it out. And you also give props to Skin Deep and EWG, and yeah. you know. So how? Tell me, you know, kind of how the how did you start learning about green beauty, and what was your, you know, what was your like light bulb moment for you? Well, I, I did have an aha moment um, when I saw Ken Cook um, give the talk, 10 Americans. Right. Um, and so that was a, a major aha moment for me. Um, and since then, I've, I've sort of relied on them to be the watchdog for chemicals and cosmetics. Uh -huh. And I've relied heavily on their database. And so I, I teach people how to use their database and how to incorporate products that are healthy into their mm -hmm. existing routine. And by the way, you guys, you can now get Skin Deep on your phone, which we both have, which is the, the app, and you can like scan products and, you know, right? You, it's really all at your fingertips now, all this information. It's, For the most part. Saying you can't yeah. like be informed is really a cop out at this point. I, think, I agree, right? I agree. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can you, do you, it. You have to make the effort, but it is there if yeah. you want it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping that the book would um, sort of give you just enough takeaway to get you started and then you can obviously go a lot deeper um, which I really didn't want to do because I, I feel like there's a lot of those books out there I just wanted to give people enough to basically just screen their beauty routine yeah. and, and you know not have to think too much about the chemical yeah because it's so boring yeah it's well, really not fun I don't know if it's boring but it, I, I think it is a little daunting when people you know they start thinking they're gonna have to give stuff up you right. know, like, yeah. oh my God, I can't use that, yeah. whatever, lipstick, you know, because it's got lead in it, and by the that's way, true. 60% do, so that's probably a good thing to research, right? Yeah, I you mean, know? yeah, it's cross-contamination. Um, you'll never see it on the packaging, so you're never going to know. Right, right. Dirty little secrets. Yeah. But I, yeah, I definitely am the girl that just wants um, good makeup, makeup that performs. I'm a makeup artist, um, so when I have to think too much about chemicals, um, I just don't, I don't find it, it's just not what I want to do. Right. It's you not what I want to do. more things to do with your time. You're Especially, a mom. Yeah. With, you're a working yeah. mom. Especially with makeup. <laughs> I just want it to be, you know, high performance and beautiful yeah. and girly. Totally. I don't want to think about makeup yeah. uh, and chemicals and makeup. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, so are you, um, obviously you're traveling a lot to, you know, do different book signings and, you know, all over the country. So, um, have you found any cool, like, eco spots, either here in LA or, you know, in some place that you've traveled that you love? Like, what's a, what's a place that kind of stands well, out for you? my favorite eco spot is Green Line here in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Have you been there? No. Oh, it's so great. Me. Stacey Stiltz owns it. Okay. And she finds the best of the best. In fact, I consulted her on um, a sidebar in my book called The Vault. Okay. Because she has beautiful, luxurious um, products that are super clean, high performing. So, so um, Green Line is in what part of LA? Um, it's like West Hollywood. Okay. Green Line. All right. We're all going to have to go yeah. check that out. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of like, so greening your, say, you know, you're talking to somebody who's never really dipped their toe into these waters of green beauty, like where would you start with that person? What would be the first thing you'd have them check out and perhaps swap out for something healthier? Oh, um, so in terms of products. Yeah. You know, I like, I like Well People's Foundation Stick because uh -huh. you can use it for concealer and foundation. Uh-huh. Uh, Jane Aridal has amazing glosses, blood-free. Right. Um, primitive 
It has really wonderful lipsticks and lip liners. And these are all in the book and also on your site, right? A lot of yeah, these are on pagepaget.com, yeah. which is a really good resource. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so so like, why would we start with, you know, concealer for example? What's in what? Why would you encourage somebody to switch out their conventional concealer? Like, what's in there that we want to maybe? Petrochemicals, fragrances, and just about everything. Right. And parabens. Those are the three P's that I look for. Okay. Um, so yeah, essentially, you know, it's just it's, if it's something you use every day, then I would consider swapping it out sooner than other products. Okay. And then what about lead and lipstick? Like, you know, I've heard that women eat eight pounds of lipstick over our lifetimes. Yeah, I've heard that you know, too. like, yeah. I mean, how do we? I don't know. Like, say I've got a great red that I can't live without right. like what would you you know what do you do is there a way to match it and find a, a, a healthier one or what would you do a lot of times you can find them and, uh -huh. and match them you have to look around there are some really great um, companies out there such as primitive that do beautiful lipsticks uh -huh. then there's bite who's a little bit in between I mean they're pretty clean but they use some synthetic um, colors uh -huh. um, but you know it's really to me it's just all about finding the balance and if you can find something to swap it out with great if you can't use it on special occasions I don't think you have to give up everything so okay. you know if you love this red lipstick you know just just be careful you know like wear it on your birthday <laughs> wear it on your birthday <laughs> and only that on your birthday just wear that the people will focus on it I, I just say you know if you don't have to wear it one day then don't yeah you know Okay, just all right, we heard it here. Cautious. You heard it here first from yeah. Paige. You don't have to give up the things you love. Um, you just maybe need to do a little research, right? Kind of learn, yeah, learn what's in there and know your, know your products. The more you know, the better. I really consider my beauty routine a diet. So yeah. the, the more knowledgeable you are, the better. I mean, you would not eat parabens. You right. would not eat um, the things that you find. And look, I don't think you need to have it so clean you need to eat it, but you have to understand only because of taste, however. But um, but you have to understand that everything you put on your body hits your bloodstream, mm -hmm. so you will metabolize it. You will mm -hmm. consume it mm -hmm. one way or the other. Yeah. So when it comes to lead, a neurotoxin, you know, makes you stupid. <laughs> you probably don't want to be eating eight pounds. <laughs> Definitely you don't. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Paige. Thank, thank you, you so much for talking with so us. Much. You guys, check out pagepaget.com and also check out the Green Beauty Rules. And some of Paige's favorite beauty makeup um, brands are going to appear on Love Goodly, so definitely keep, you know, stay tuned for that. Thank you. All right, thanks Bye. so much. Bye. Bye.